Greetings Java viewers and welcome to the first episode of the Minecraft Mining for Beginners with Minecraft Forge 1.6.2. So I've been looking on YouTube for quite a while and um, I haven't really found any modding tutorial yet for uh, 1.6.2 so I thought why not do it myself since I anyway have to update it. So um, why don't we just get started. So I really really recommend watching this video if uh, even though you're not new to modding um, you'll still need this video because the new setup for uh, Eclipse and MCP is a little bit new. So um, yeah, uh, I'm just going to show you two main programs you'll need, and then I'll show you the actual Minecraft Curve Pack. So uh, first, you're going to search Java uh, JDK7, which will bring you to the Java SE downloads on the Rackles.com. Uh, you're going to choose this one called JDK7 Docs and press download. Now, um, whatever you use here, uh, you just choose. You know, um, I use Windows 64, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm going to download this, and then you gotta you, you gotta press accept from there. So it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, you just need that. When you're done with that, you're gonna need um, Eclipse, which is also a fairly easy to install program. Um, I really, really hate this snap though thing. Anyhow, um, you're going to go ahead and choose the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Choose whatever um, you use, like Windows, Linux, or Mac. Not Mac, Mac. And then choose 32 bit or 64 bit. And uh, yeah, I'm, I just chose this one because I'm on a um, Windows 64 bit. And then you just press download. Uh, you you got to press this one. Now, it doesn't really matter that it says Grease right here. Sometimes it may say Italy or something else. It doesn't matter, just go ahead and install. It, it'll come up in English. Now, uh, install those two programs, Eclipse and Java JDK7, and uh, you'll be ready to go to download the Minecraft Forge. Now, something new about this is um, you don't need um, to install the MCP itself. Um, I have no idea what this was because it already has that in Minecraft Forge. I'm thinking this is it. Yeah, MinecraftForge.net. You want to choose the files. Let's just go ahead and load. And um, I'd really recommend the recommended 1.6.2 um, for uh, Minecraft 1.6.2. I yeah, recommended uh, SRC, of course. And then you just go ahead and install this. Let, let's just go ahead and do this. Um, you're going to go on AdFly. Which will take some time. I really hate this app line making videos because it takes forever. You're gonna go and click here to continue. It comes up with a new app fly. Bam! 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 <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna go and close this. Um, it's gonna get installed. I'm just gonna pause the video until it's done installing. All right, I'm back, and we got this Microforge SOC right here. And uh, basically, what you want to do now is to make a new folder, or you can just make not a folder, but I, I just like to make folders. MCP. Um, we're gonna now. I see a lot of things. Uh, I mean, tutorials. Or they just name it tutorial, but. Uh, I'm gonna do the modium again, but I'm just gonna call this tutorial so I know this is my tutorial. Um, 1.6.2. Uh, basically, what you get here is a folder called Forge. You just drag it in your um, MCP folder. Now uh, it's just not gonna take a long time, so um, bam. Now we're not gonna do this anymore, but I'm just gonna make it stay there. And um, basically, what you wanna do is uh, if you have um, installed Java JDK you can just go ahead and press the install at CMD now uh, this will check this um, yeah just well I pretty much failed there uh, it may take some time to download and um, it will take a long time now if I'm not wrong first it will give you an error um, in a sec or so but uh, basically, if you get the error, just rerun it again. Uh, and if you get the error again, you haven't installed a Java JDK um, perfectly. 
Alright, it seems there's no error, um, which is also good. So uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to um, make it run, and this will take a long time actually, but just, you know, press and wait. So I'll see you guys when it's done. Alrighty, righty, righty, we're done, and this is Microforge setup finished. Now, this took a long time, I think around 10 to 15 minutes, and uh, yeah, you can't even see the top, because it's like loads of stuff. But at least we're done, and we can close this down. Now, why I told you not to download um, the MCPs, because we have it right here, um, install for us with the install of CMD, or just install, depending on if you put your file types on. Now, I'm freaking sorry that it's on Danish, I really, I really hate this uh, Danish thing, I think I'm going to change it in the next video. But anyhow, here we have a go, we have our MCP, and we've zipped it up with Forge. So, uh, oh wait, let's just open it up in Eclipse, and hopefully you should see loads of packages. That's like, that's like the main thing I'm focusing on when we're using Forge. If there's loads, if <laughs> there's a lot of packages. Alright, so you have now with Eclipse Kepler, or if you already have Eclipse, like an earlier version like Juno or Indigo, um, you want to browse, let me just browse back, bam, bam, to your MCP, which I've called mine MCP Tutorial 6.2, go into Forge, go into MCP, and press the Eclipse, not anything inside it, but just highlight the Eclipse, and then OK. So it should say uh, C colon uses whatever um, you have desktop, uh, wherever you put it, MCP tutorial 1.62 or whatever you call it, and then Forge, MCP, and Eclipse, and then nothing more. And you just press OK. And we're just going to wait for this to load up. Now, in the next video, I'm just going to say now. And we're just going to show you how to set up um, your MCP. Now, I am not going to use common proxy and client proxy as I have used with the other versions of Forge. We're just going to work with the main file. And um, since we got this new texture system up with 1.6.2, um, we're also not going to use them there. But we are going to use, when we're going to make ARM more, we're going to use a reference class or whatever you want to call it and it doesn't matter um, but we're going to use that um, I'm not really going to explain it right now but we're just going to make one file instead of three as you usually do so before we get started with the next video I'm just going to go into window and open perspective and choose Java this is very important now just to see if everything was work we're going to go to Minecraft SRC and here should be a lot of packages, and the other one should be called 